Sometimes in Creo, when you want to create an extrude on top of a surface, like you want to create a logo or some letters, you run in a bit of a problem if the surface is curved or of uneven shape. So you have two methods. One is simple one and uh, works in simple ways. So uh, let's say that we want to make a logo of Coca-Cola on top of uh, this dome. So let's first create a datum plane. A simple datum plane or a simple offset. I have already created the logo. I'll just paste it here. Make it a little bigger. I'll just do it manually and click OK and OK again. And I'll click extrude. Now I want to I want this extrude to be on the top of the surface. So I will select extrude to intersect with selected surface. And so it extrudes to intersect with this dome surface. Then I'll click OK. Now I want this is just too big and uh, not good. Now I'll have to cut this extrude by using another extrude. So just select this our front plane and uh, let's create another extrude. Sketch center and ends. This is a simple dome. So I'll have, ha have no problem. Then the outer surface I will include inside our uh, extrude. I'll make it a little bigger and then remove material. So here it is our Coca Cola logo. But there is a very easy way that works for all kinds of uh, features whether you are working with surfaces or uh, whether you are working with the uh, complex extrude features so here is our, our how it works let's first create uh, we will create a sketch here you can create it on uh, this datum plane this front datum plane or uh, I'll for clarity I'll create it a little bit away from it so here I have I want to create a logo basically on this surface. So I'll create a sketch of the Coca-Cola logo again. Here I'll place it here, make it a little bigger. Let's say this this bigger. Click OK. Now I'll select this surface and this offset feature will appear when I'll select the surface then I'll click offset after clicking offset I'll go to this uh, uh, this drop down menu from the extrude uh, offset uh, ribbon and here this will appear with draft feature I'll select it then I'll select this uh, this sketch that I want to Oh, get extruded from the surface in an even way. So I'll, I'll select this one, and you can say that this is a very easy way to do what we did it in two steps on that Coca-Cola logo. So here, and like this, you have easily created Coca-Cola logo on top of the surface you just have to select one of the surface surfaces if you have uh, the logo like uh, uh, like here on this side and uh, 
half of the surface is inside the logo half is or uh, 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 half is on the other side you can just select one surface and then select the sketch and uh, your logo will automatically be extruded on both surfaces so let's create another one on this complex surface so you can see how powerful this tool is create a sketch uh, change its orientation let's say top let's make it bigger okay now oh, here is here it is now select the surface offset with draft feature and then select this coca cola sketch out sketch now it uh, it extrudes from the surface like it changes the surface like if you want to do something with the surface you can do it so I'll select 23 and I'll click OK and now you see I think it is a pretty complex thing that this tool did offset and draft that's the tool that you you can use to make writings or make flowers on complex surfaces or other things hope you enjoyed the video learn something thank you